Who's that right there? Ooh, round. I'm your favorite people. You're the only people I like to people with. Hope you people are doing good out there in uh, crazy land. We'll let, let a few people hop on before we get started. Today we're going to talk about peopling. And why peopling with people who like to people will get you in people trouble. Trust me. Been there, done that, I got the t-shirt. What's up, Junior? What's up, Shannon Blake? Showing off my beautiful landscaping right now. I would let a few people come on. What's up, Sky? Beautiful day here in South Louisiana. Just got home from a fantastic day with the with the with the wives. When, wives? You have more than one? I'm working on it, but <laughs> I'm waiting for you to allow me to have more than yeah. one. But how, we got we looked at two deals today that we got under contract. We looked at two deals and, and we searched for other deals. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing good. Bill, Mark, please share and invite. We're gonna talk some we're gonna talk about something very controver very controversial, right? You know, I'm I'm a grown man, I'm forty years old. Um uh, had a lot of people friends growing up. Had a lot of uh you know, when it's always people and hang out and fucking chill and people, right? And what I've noticed over the years is the the people that like to people with other people always get in trouble, right? They always end up, uh, they, they always end up, it, it's funny because it, like, they always end up eating each other alive and it's like, I couldn't figure out like, I'll, and I, I tried to reverse engineer, why would I wanna go hang out all the time and wanna chill with people and just people all the time, right? And it's really just one reason, right? It's because you wanna be liked and you want people to stroke your ego so you hang out with a bunch of buddies and friends and y'all talk about absolutely nothing, pretending to add value to your life or doing better in life. You talk about current events. You talk about nothingness. Absolutely freaking nothing, right? Hey, I've been there, done that. Mom, I can't see comments. I've been there, done that. You know, it's like uh, you get together with a bunch of guys, and especially if you guys that are following me in your early 20s, I'm telling you right now, skip the boat. Quit hanging and chilling with all your, your, your buds and go, go, to, go do shit that makes you some money and go freaking hang out with people and go people with people who don't like the people because those are the people that are going to help you make a lot of money, right? I don't freaking people with other people just for the sake of peopling, right? Because what happens, right? Get together and uh, basically talk about stuff that, that just does not matter and all you sit there and do it's freaking talk about other people, talk about current events, talk about absolutely nothing. It, it's and if you actually actually stop next time you're peopling, if you because you a lot of you guys following me probably still peopling. Let's call it for what it is. You, you're peopling because you got low self esteem and you need that you need that verification that that notoriety that um, that self satisfaction that somebody likes you, right? Well, and you're wasting so much time on peopling. What big mama? What you about to say? Filling a void. Oh, oh. You fill in a void that you can't get at home with your real people. That's a good point, Big Mama. I, I'm always good about not peopling because I don't need other people. Like, I, there's no void there left to fill. Like, well, it's good to people, but you got to people with the right people. Right. You like, want to people with other people who don't like to people. You get the most value from those people. The people that want to people all the time. Well, I, I promise you, you'll waste so much time with them. You, you'll waste so much time. You have to monitor your conversations with people. What, when you start people and what are you talking about? And when I say people and guys, I mean hanging out with people, right? Hanging out with people, socializing. On an entertainment level. On an entertainment level, yep. Wanting to hang out all the time. And, and what do they do? They stroke each other's ego. They make themselves feel good about one another. Like, dude, I don't need any. I don't need to be around well, a bunch or, of dudes to straight stroke my ego. Or they create drama. Drama. And that well, that's that's what we're getting to. Right? Yeah. Hold it, Mama. We try, we're getting there. We're getting there. We you're gonna create more drama for yourself. Trust me. If you're a young cat, you probably maybe if you're older, you probably already know this. But dude, I'm telling you, take my word for it. You cats that are peopling all the time and freaking going to the bars and going just hang out at 
just for the sake of fucking hanging out and, and people and with all these people, you're gonna lose so much of your life. Your life's gonna pass you by and you're building relationships with people that will not pay out any dividends or not cash flow in a sense, right? Be careful who you people are with. Be careful who you're creating relationships with. And what What is the byproduct? And giving you time to, right? If you're just going over there just because you're like bored and you, you're you like, fuck, I need somebody to hang out with. I'm just so bored. Dude, you, you need to find a better purpose. You need to find a bigger purpose, right? A bigger purpose for what, which, why you're, you're people in. I can't see comments about it. Yeah, I'll agree with you. No questions. But it's like, man, I, I see all like... And I don't want to say any names or anything, but like I walk outside sometimes. I'm like, look at all these people peopling, right? And they'll people for a while. And then all of a sudden you notice that people group breaks up because one pe people was talking about another people. And then now they got to get new people in groups because one people is mad at the other one. Because all they do, because they have a, they don't have aligned purposes. Like that's why, dude, me and my wife, we don't people. And if we are peopling, dude, we peopling with people that uh, I guarantee that they don't like to people. You come hang around with me, we're not, we're not talking about current events. We're not talking about the weather. We're not talking about the news. Dude, I'm, we're talking, hey, business, life, strategy, adding value, helping, right? You get around most people that people, they're talking about the past. The past. They're, they're they're talking, talking about other people. Talking about other people. <laughs> they're always talking about other people, like what their neighbor did, what fucking Bill did across the street, or what Joe did. Or what girl they're trying to bang or you know how many titty bars they went to whatever it may be right or who's fucking winning on the you, espn you know what a lot of people talk about they talk about their personal life to other people and that's a huge problem yes huge that creates dude you should so not be problem. telling anybody your personal problems especially your people and people dude they're gonna use that they're gonna use, listen trust me i've done been there i'm not talking about nothing i'm a 40 year old man guys i got five kids been the same woman for 22 years you know been through the you know been been half of my life is almost gone right so i'm just i'm giving you strategy on what i've learned and what i wish i would have like not wasted time on and that that that's all i'm i'm not trying to sell you anything i just like coming on here and giving value and and talking about you know i don't like just talking about real estate right you know it's, it's there's only so much shit we could talk about with real estate right you know buy low sell high if you want to talk about real estate go buy my course or there's a lot of shit on youtube right but if you want to talk about real estate, we could talk about real estate another day. But I want to talk to you about shit about everyday life, right? Because this shit is the, a lot of this shit involves why you guys can't get ahead in life. Because you fucking people in all the time. You people in all the time with people that you should not be people in with, right? You know, it, I find it amazing. You know, you get together with a bunch of people, people, and all they do is talk about what? Other people. Jesus Christ, get a, get a better game in life, right? And if you notice, you might be stuck in a group like that. You might be stuck with a, a bunch of people that like the people, and it's like you, you're just filling the empty void, right? You fill an empty void. Dude, get your purpose aligned with your goals. Like, what do you want to do? What the hell are you doing? Maybe you're 40 years old, and you're watching this, and you're still peeping a lot, and you're like, fuck, I don't know. I wasted 20 years of my life. I'm still not where I might want to be in life. Dude, because you're wasting so much time on activities that don't serve you. You're wasting so much time on people that don't serve you or help you get ahead. Dude, I'm not going to... You will not catch me hanging out and chilling. And, and if you do, I mean, Jesus Christ. Do I ever hang out and chill, Mama? I mean, I, was, I just said you won't catch me hanging out. I'm trying to think of any time I ever hang out or chill and just people. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't need. Um, even... You talk about business twenty four seven. I don't know. Okay, so he he used to like hang out with people in the hood, in the neighborhood, because you know we do know people in our neighborhood, and we felt bad saying no. Every time he would go, he'd come back. You would be aggravated for like two days. Like, why did I waste my time? Why yeah. did I go over there? Yeah, you you because yeah. they just talk about stuff that is. It's not. It's not. It's not it doesn't make. And it doesn't make. Like, and valuable. it doesn't make them wrong. But I just. I, I, it, it, I just like, I know I'm out of place, right? Like, I don't want to fucking just talk about sports. I don't want to fucking talk about what guy's banging whose wife or, you know, who's cheating on whose wife or. Who's winning the LSU Alabama game. Yeah, I don't give two shits, right? <laughs> yeah. it, I don't get paid on that, right? I, I, don't, I don't care. Like, and you may take that, this dude's a jerk. You might be watching this for the first time. You're like, man, Chris, you're fucking jerk off. Like, dude, you don't ever chill and just have relationships, dude. With our family. If, yeah, if, if, we, if, your, if your total goal in life is just to fucking hang out 
And it, if you go to work from Monday to Friday and your total goal is to can't wait, get, wait to get off of work on Friday, to drink a six pack with the neighbor, to talk about college sports, dude, I'm so, dude. You need a bigger game. Dude, you just, yeah, it's just, it's just, you just, and I'm not saying you're a loser or not. You just, I don't think you, you, you haven't, you, you haven't found your, your bigger why and your bigger purpose, right? You're looking for it. And if you'd look for it hard enough, you guys are always looking for your why. Like I, I'm so on purpose. I'm so on point of what I want. I'm very intentional. I say what I want, I, how I want it. Like I go after it. But a lot of people just hang around and they're looking, they're like hoping their purpose comes to them or their why comes to them. Because dude, your why and purpose will open up when you get into action toward a goal. And you will slowly get, to, you'll, start, you'll start developing that why, that purpose. Like, dude, you don't wake up one morning, oh, I, I figure out, everybody talks about you got to find your why. Dude, you, your, your why will not come to you. Your purpose will not come to you. You get to get into motion and your why, your why and your purpose will open up in life. And you'll figure out what you want to do. And maybe, and maybe your total purpose is to fucking chill and hang out in, at the bars or, and do that. And more power to you. That's not my thing. But, dude, I'm telling you, you're getting more trouble in life people and all the time it's it's i find it amazing that people people and i've tried to people i've tried to people and every time i people i hate my life it brought in a lot of drama and Dra baggage yeah. and comparison and especially in the early 20s um, yeah it was like it was like to the point where like we're trying to do what we want to do to get where we want to be it wasn't because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses, it, or you know, but then it was when, what we wanted but, to do. But when we started doing that, we started they criticized because we were passing up our friends, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in our early twenties. I'm talking about twenty, you know, twenty two, twenty four years old. Like I was always on point. Yeah, twenty two, dude. I was an entrepreneur. I was like, move out my way. I'm going to get what I want. And I had before that. I was a kid from eighteen, you know, seventeen to twenty two. I was partying, doing stuff. But I like, I got over that, and I was like, okay, I don't. When you got in trouble, I, I got in trouble, and I didn't want the people no more, mm -hmm. right? And what happens is, is as soon as you start trying to go after what you want, if you're not doing the same shit as your friends, they will pull you down. They will start talking about you. So you better people with other people that are doing the same shit you're doing, right? They have the same purpose, the same goals, the same alignment with you. Otherwise, dude, you can't people with people just because you knew you know them your whole really life. You know what really bothers me is those people who people with people and at the same time they're avoiding their family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like they're not bringing their wife with them to these. Right. Yeah. These but their kids, like are we? Or their like, kids, yeah. like, dude, my kids, like we bring our kids to to all of the events that we that we go to, or the ones that are old enough, right? That want to. I say that. My, I say all of my kids. My older son, the one having nothing to do with, with uh, two you of know, them. entrepreneurship. But I bring two of them. I bring my, you know, my fifteen year old, my twelve year old, but my twenty year old, he's just, yeah, he's well, just. I'm thinking you of can't those force it, right? Men who leave their wives at home and go party with their friends all the time. Yeah. That, that's not cool, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing if you're bringing your wife with you, but dude, you can, listen. We just got, you know, we just got knocked in the gut here recently with this, with the, with the the Mexican beer, right, the Rona. And if you, you know, most eighty percent of Americans don't have any savings. They live che paycheck to paycheck. They have no passive income. They they all they depend on is a forty hour work week. Maybe they get forty five hours or fifty hours in a week, and then on their spare time, they're peopling when before that if they would have been focusing on doing things to become you know generate more cash flow get make more money dude they, america wouldn't be in half the problem like you probably wouldn't need half the stimulus you know that we that we got because we're wasting so much time on shit that don't service like so much shit right dude america's gonna change like i'm, I'm listening to to i don't want to say his name but the doctor uh little guy little guy yeah little guy it starts with an F, Doctor Doctor F, right? And um, he's sitting there. A month ago, he said, "You don't need you don't need mask." Today on Capitol Hill, he stood up and said, "We all need mask." And I'm thinking, "Dude, we're being conned so bad. We're being conned so bad, and there's not a damn thing the American people can do about it because, like, you know, it's like, what can you do? But the only thing you could have done about it is is you could have been prepared. Like, dude, I've been." I've been prepared most, like, I've been prepping my whole life, like, for the past 10, 15 years, like, I knew something crazy was going to happen, because on my spare time, I'm not peopling. On my spare time, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm trying to make money. I'm, I'm investing into businesses, ideas, real estate, you know, you know, doing things to make money, and, you know, I'm in a lot better position than most, 
but I mean, a lot of people watching this probably may, might not have a job and I'm not here to make you wrong. I'm just telling you like, how much time are you wasting people, in, right? You know, I mean, how much time are you doing that? Do you probably, what you might be wasting a couple hours a day just with absolute bullshit that doesn't serve you, right? What are you doing on your spare time? Like, most of you guys want to be entertained. Let's call it for what it is. You, you have an entertainment mentality. I have an educational mentality. Everything I do is toward educate, geared toward education to create value. I want to create so much value, I want to become valuable. If I, can, if I can consume value, 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 what happens? If I'm digesting value all the time and I'm getting more knowledge, more learned, what happens? I become valuable to the workplace, to the marketplace, right? You know, and that's what you, your problem is. Like, you, you got low self-esteem. You're hanging out with people. You're trying to fit in. You want people to like you. You're working on the things that don't serve you. Yeah. You, 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 not, you don't... For you, us, we realize that all those extra things were not serving us and was bringing in more negative than it was doing any positive. Yeah. And us. don't get me wrong. We're not saying we don't talk to people. Like, I talk to a lot of people. But the people I talk to... Don't people, dude. They don't people. They don't freaking hang out. Like, we're, we're talking like, hey, hey. They're I, on purpose. Yeah, they're on purpose. Like, they're hey, they, they're like, hey, what, what can I do to help you? Hey, what deals you got? Hey, um, I got this deal. You know, you want in on it. How, how, can we, how can we serve one another, right? Not on how can we get drunk, talk about this, and, you know, and, and on your own. There's nothing wrong with having beers and stuff and drinking. And, you know, it's, that's just America, right? That's just people that do that. It's not a big deal. I mean, I still have drinks and, fuck, I'm having a glass of wine right now. But I'm talking about people that do it. They look forward to drink, you know, drinking a six pack every night and, and afternoon, escape in their and escape family. in their life because they're just trying to escape, right? Mm -hmm. They just want to go people because they feel like Patty said they're filling a void in their life. There's a hole, right? Because they haven't created a big enough game and a big enough purpose, so they have to people to fill that void, right? Because those other people make them feel good about themselves. Why? Because what do you do when you start peopling? You get together with a bunch of guys or girls, whatever. And what do you do? You lie to one another. Ah, 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 yeah, you, you in the back. Put on a show. Y'all lie to one another and make each other feel good. That's all y'all do. You just sit there and lie to, lie to each other and stroke each other's ego, right? And um, I just don't, I, I, I don't. You have to be secure within yourself that you don't need people like that to feel any void like you can be um strong within your family unit that you have everything you need yeah and and, and i'm not here to beat bash anybody that's saying that you know that's maybe you like to people may and that if that's your purpose to people then state it and that if you're very intentional about people and with people and you just want to get drunk every weekend and just people hey more power to you this message ain't for you you probably shouldn't be following me because i'm not your cup of tea you you won't like this <laughs> You won't like me, yeah. No. You think I'm a dick? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, dude, I don't people. Sorry. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to get drunk with you and tell me how awesome I am or me lie to you and tell you how awesome you are and, 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 and just to make you feel better about yourself or maybe you got little dick syndrome. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a number of different reasons. It, it goes back you know, further than that, but I, I realize the older I get, I wasted so much time. And I didn't ever really waste that much time because shit, I stopped people in it probably yeah, we 20, did, we, 22, we 22 early, years old. Once the drama Jeez. came, we were like, man, fuck this. I'm yep. over it. Like, yep. I don't have time for this. My, I, my kids are worth my time and my husband's worth my time. But drama and evil intentions and competition is not worth my time. If you think you're going to start people with a bunch of other people like the people and you think that they're not going to talk about you behind your back, dude, you fell off your rocking chair. You fell off your rocking chair because as soon as you leave, they're going to talk about you behind your back and they're going to pretend that y'all are friends. I'm telling you, and I'm not saying like don't have companionship and all that, but you have to have companionship with the right people that are aligned, right? And they're going for the same goals because you cannot have you can I wrote this in... You know, a while back, you can't have high-level conversations with low-level people, right? You can't have high-level conversations with low-level people. Otherwise, you're going to sit there and you're going to talk to them about high-level stuff or stuff that, you know, maybe your dreams, goals, aspirations, and maybe your insecurities, things you're struggling with. And what do they do? They, they're going to just do they're going to use that against you. So you can't confine in everybody. You should not be having conversations like that with, with, with people that you like to people. Any questions, guys? And well, they, somebody asked if we, we did we move back to South Louisiana. 
yeah, we're back here for probably, I'd say, what, three months, Mama? Three, four months max? Till around September or so. Yeah, September. Our beach house is going to get rented here till probably the end of August. As soon as they lift that ban. Yeah, as soon as they lift the ban. It should get lifted hopefully any day now, any week. But we'll, um, it's, it's, our, our beach house is booked throughout the summer. So we're going to, we came back over here. I got a bunch of deals I need to take care of. And then we'll be back in Florida September. And we'll, we'll probably stay out there till February, March. Six months. Kind of doing the half and half thing guys listen just so you know you know we've been split testing this um like where should you live should you have a home base should you do this without a shadow of a doubt i figured out fluidity and flexibility flexibility and diversity and and points of view and location where you live is the ideal scene. Options. I've been trying to think, man, I want to do, I want to live in Florida. Do I want to live in Louisiana? Maybe we should move to Orange Beach, Alabama. Maybe we should move to Colorado. Like options is the way to go. Not living at one physical location, but and maybe you don't have that that luxury right now, but real estate We like help our you. different locations for different reasons and we like coming home but, for different reasons. But real we estate like has given there. us that life. Yeah. Real estate has given us that life where we can do that. Let's call it what it is. But I'm talking about just in general, like you don't have to stay in one spot your whole life, like fucking move, right? Like we're in the worst economy over here. Like we were, we were in the one of the worst economies before the Rona hit in Lafayette, Louisiana. And now this town is, my next door neighbor when I pulled up, he said, dude, why did you even come back? Like it's fucking mayhem around here. No job, like the oil field was already was dog like, okay, shit. okay, let's turn around. The oil field was already dog shit and it went to like negative $40 a barrel and it's back up now and nobody can go to work. Like. We were already like at the bottom of the barrel and then we, it got even worse. But the point is, is to have options, right? And that's why, and I've gotten where I've gotten guys because I haven't been people in all my life. That's the whole point of this live. I haven't been people in and wasting so much time. Like there was one guy that I met, his name was Bobby Castro. You guys should follow him. I met him at 10X Growth Con 1 and he talked about unrefundable minutes. Non-refundable non minutes. It always stuck with me. Um, he's hardcore. He's hardcore, but, but he, he just sold his business for a billion dollars. And um, dude's an animal, but he doesn't waste any time because your minutes are non-refundable, right? They're non-refundable. You can't get them back. If you're just fucking spending worthless minutes with people that don't add value to your life and make you more valuable or them more value, dude, guard your time like it's sacred, right? And that all that stuck with me, especially you know when I first heard that five years ago. Like it really, like I already did that to a certain degree, but I wasn't sure like if I was doing the right thing. But when I heard these other guys talking about, it, I was like, my God, that's so true. You freaking sitting there hanging out with people and and wasting minutes of your life that you can never get back, right? Never get back. So anyway, there's just there's just so many there's so many things you could you could, you could actually sit here and, and talk about that we waste time on and that's probably one of your biggest detriments to you getting what you want in life right why, why am i why am i sitting there trying to give you value over here because i want to become valuable to you right you I'm, I'm not wasting time talking about useless info i'm giving you valuable information on how i've lived my life what i noticed where and i'm not just making this shit up i'm just telling you what i did because i made a lot of fucking mistakes in my life lots of mistakes almost died two or three times from drugs um in front of my wife really bad shit yeah. i mean I, I did some stupid shit and i think i got over that hump of partying and, and people and really early because i went so hard i'm an extremist right really I'm, I'm a fucking extremist like everything i do is extreme like if i'm gonna be a if i'm gonna mess with drugs or i'm gonna be a partier i'm gonna be the best partier if i'm gonna get into business i want to be the best at what i do right i got into all change business i was the best at that in my town i got into real estate i was the best in, in my town at doing that right whatever i do i hyper focus on and i'm an extremist so and, and it's really it, hard to hyper focus when you have too many other things in the background of your life. It's really hard to yeah. hyper focus. Yeah. You got to become fanatically mm -hmm. focused on what you want. Fanatical, like to where it's, you become a crazy person, right? Because I'm, dude, if you come hang out with me enough, you probably won't like me, to be honest with you. Let's call it for what it is. Because I don't, I, 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 I'm not that likable of a guy, to be honest. You may like me on Facebook and you follow me, but I'm really not that likable. likable. You think He's so? Like I he, don't. He's intense. Okay. If you cannot handle people who are intense and goal oriented to the fact that they're like, then that's just not for you. But I wouldn't say you're not likable. You're very likable, but you're very to the point intense. Um, 
if there are certain subjects being talked about that is not worth your, not worth your value, he'll like. Dude, I even catch myself. Y'all were talking at the beach house. Some people, the random neighbors came by. I just, I, they were talking. I just walked off. Like I just can't talk like about nothing. <laughs> I just walked off. I just don't care. Like I'm not, I'm not talking about this. Bye. I didn't even tell him bye. I just, I just walk off. And um, because I don't waste my time, right? I don't want to people, guys. You know, if I'm gonna people with you, we do, we're gonna do business, right? Are we gonna, I'm gonna help you, you're gonna help me. I just wanna people with people that don't wanna people. <laughs> and, uh, and it works, right? And we're currently looking for a house that has no people. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're looking for a non-people in house. Yeah. Um, somebody asked, what's your advice for getting away from those people without completely burning those relationships with those type of people? That's my a great question. Is my issue, it says. That's a great question. It is a great That's question. a great question because you don't want to just completely cut ties. You, you do it with what's called good roads and good weather. Good roads, good weather, basically, in that shell means you just say it in a very good roads, good weather, nice way. Hey, uh, you know, slowly kind of back. Do it on a gradient scale, right? Don't just stop talking to them, but stop talking to them on a gradient scale slowly, right? They'll get the hint that you that you're you know you're you're busy and every, every time they ask hey man why don't you come hang out just say hey man i'm i'm sorry like i'm really busy i've got stuff going on got this new project i'm working on and don't just be a total dick like hey dude i watched this facebook live and chris Rudy said don't people with people like the people and you're one of those people so fuck off don't do that right just slowly on a graduate gradient scale it's like people get the hint that i don't want a people like that when i first moved in like this neighborhood i live in now right I've been here about eight years and first like first got here getting invited to all these parties in the neighborhood and I just avoided it like the plague. I didn't go to any of them. I actually went to one and I hated Remember that time I went to one of them? Yes. He bitched about it for like two weeks. Like, why did I go? Oh my God. That was so aggravating. He wanted I'm like, we're never going again. That's it. Um, and I just, I just don't, I just never did it again. Right. So people got the hint and I kept on getting axed over and over and they kept on saying, man, fuck Chris, you don't even fucking hang out. You don't do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm busy. And, you know, and they finally got the hit and I just got, I stopped getting invited. And they probably, and, and look, they probably don't like me or whatever now because I just don't people, but I don't care. I don't, it's, I don't have such low self-esteem that it bothers me. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't want to people, right? I want, I want to get shit done. I want to get shit that I have a void in my life and, and, and a hole in my heart, in my spirit, that if I'm not doing shit that adds value to my life or value to other people's life or helps me move that needle, right? Further along where I want to get in life, I get fucking upset and depressed, right? And maybe that's me. Maybe that's my crazy For fanatical me. Personally, me. Um, I always like, I give my, my friend. Oh, oh. oh. What'd you do? What'd you... Oh, I slipped. Uh oh, what he did. Um, I give my friends the benefit of the doubt if somebody texts if they need anything if they need any kind of advice i'll talk to them on the phone i'll go so i won't completely disconnect i'll offer a good friendship if i if they need advice or you know something from me but i won't like um go and like spend time or hang out or do any of that stuff like i'm just i'll focus on helping you with what you need but i'm not gonna go any further than that like I've been burned too many times. So I give a specific amount of time in that. Dude, it. people, let me tell you something, guys. People will let you down. I've always been. People. The, I have always in my life been the better. hundred percent. Me, me too. That, that, that's why I stopped people because I've always, I, when I make a commitment, I make a, you know, I, my friendships are deep, deep, deep trusted friendships that I have, especially with, you know, partners, you know, my friends are most of the time partners and, and I, I create quality relationships that really help my life and help their life and that, and that's what it's about like and that there's a deep meaning to that relationship and and i know i'm giving value to that person they're giving value back and then there's an actual meaning and it, that that's what creates a real relationship right you know because there's a meaning to it not just i'm hanging out with you because i'm fucking bored right so we are rarely ever bored no we're not that bored like we stay so busy it, it's rarely ever bored like we're like we're on the move 24 7 so to even find time to stop and do something like that is impossible i mean and a it, lot of the times we use our kids as an excuse it, and we have soccer games we have yeah it, and, and yeah you can truth. use that yeah if you have kids you can use that's that the truth. you should be spending your time with your kids yeah well and and that's the thing too guys i'm gonna hit you in the mouth right here but the most of you guys that are people and 
it's because you have a huge void and hole in your marriage. Huh? You people and with all these people because you are, y your marriage sucks, right? Dude, I don't need a people with anybody else but my wife, right? Especially and, and on, uh, and my kids, especially if it's just a, if I am going to people and do that people scene where we just like chilling and hanging out, like, dude, I'm not chilling and hanging out with just anybody, right? Um, it, it's, you, you got to work on your marriage, guys. Most of you guys have a huge hole in your marriage. And that's why you have to escape your wife, right? And you got to go people. Because you, uh, that's you're looking for you looking, like you looking, you looking for that, 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 gr that greener grass. Well, that, that and, and just, they have a void. And that void is not because of your wife. It's, it's a or lot to do Or they're not taking you. their responsibility of being a good parent or a good husband. They're, they're more, they're more. Okay, you talk to mom. I got to go to the little boy's bathroom. I think people are more worried about being a good friend instead of being a good dad and a good husband or a good wife. They're more, they put more attention on being the good friend. And that's not really what's, in, what's most important. I mean, your um, spouse is your other half. And, and it should, that's how it should be. And I'm not, um, it's, it's very hard to work on relationships. Um, we weren't always like this. Um, we have learned how to communicate to the point that we can get like this. Um, so I think if you focus more time on your relationships with your, the inside of your family versus the outside of your family, you're going to build a better relationship all around. So yeah, that's my two cents on that. But it was really hard for us to um, just cold turkey the friends, but we were we had been um, hurt so badly by people we cared about that we just said we can't do what we need to do in life having people like this on our side. Like we can't give our time, and um, and that was it. That was the first straw. And so slowly after that, we gradually stopped peopling. And, and, other, and if you notice that other, most entrepreneurs don't people. And if they are people and it's, they're just people with other entrepreneurs and the conversations are way different, right? And not everybody, and not everybody's an entrepreneur. Not everybody's, uh, you know, wired to, and I'm not here beating the drum for entrepreneurship because it ain't for everybody. It sucks sometimes and it's not always the best route to go depending on your personality. You know, what kind of a mental capacity can you handle for stress and, and, depression and fear and anxiety and everything else that's involved with with you know trying to become financially f free through small business or real estate investing I mean should even like for me right is it I've been a real estate investor full-time since 2014 that's what six years I'm just getting tracked like it's been probably the past year where we've been really freaking or probably two years now it took about four years of constantly hitting it hard and and before that, I was actually a real estate investor when I was 25, doing deals here and there, flipping houses, but never full time. But you have to get so fanatically focused when you're an entrepreneur, if you you don't even have time to people, and that's the thing, and that's the biggest thing to people, and it's because you're peopling because you got too much time in your hands. That's the, that's find the, a bigger game, dude. You ain't got a big enough game in life. You, you you're trying to fill a huge void. You got so much Especially time in, in this world. It, it's so expensive to raise a family. Dude, no, you should have more than one dude, hustle. You should not be wasting time hanging out. The worst, the worst is when you see these cats that come get obsessed with sports. Obsessed to the point they their whole house is decorated in, in a in with memorabilia with a sports team and they got every they know every fact and statistics. That that's what really that that's what really drives. You like, should be wearing your own name on your back. You yeah, should look, be you so proud of on? yourself. Look what had it said. Look what my what, what I'm sporting. You shouldn't be Chris wearing Rude. other people's jersey. You should wear your own. I heard someone say that, and I was like, "Damn, that's so good." You shouldn't be wearing other people's jerseys. Wear your fucking own jersey. Be so proud. Know your own stats. You don't even know yes, your own stats. Yes, know your own freaking stats. That's exactly right. And somebody says, "Uh, let's see." I just saw a good comment right here. Peopling will, will destroy marriages. This Dude, is so true. Who said that? Um, who said Dustin that? Dustin Andrews. Dude, you just hit Dustin. You just you just nailed it. Dude, it was. I've seen and we've seen it with other with a lot yep. of our best friends growing up in high school. That's right. They, all they did was people. All of them are divorced. Mm-hmm. And end up 
They because up, they were looking for filling well, voids. Well, it ended up people in, and then it got, it got into got more in people, trouble. and then it got into really people, people and in. they were uh-uh, people <laughs> too much. Yes. And, um, dude, you, that's when you hit the nail on the head, mm. my brother. That's so true. So true. That would get, that's the fastest way to get divorced is, is, is trying to go outside the marriage to find entertainment and, and socialization because you need a people because you're, you, you're, your wife, your marriage is just terrible, right? Uh, there's some more uh, comments right here. I agree. People will let you down, but that's on them, not on the one who is giving the help. My, that's right. My that's gauge is being around. But you know what? The people who are giving the help get hurt by that. And then, you know, you're like, because I've been hurt by it so many times. I'm like, why the hell am I wasting so much time on somebody who really doesn't care? Um, so I, I, I just cut it out completely. You have to be confident in yourself and what someone else does is on them. You can only control you. That's right. Let's see. Be around high caliber individuals, same mindset. Yeah. You have to yep. be around people who have the same goals as you. Yep. Yep. Yeah, guys. I mean, I don't want to be, I mean, this, this topic is, you know, you, you just got to look around, look at your life, look at your friends, look at other people that all they do is do, I can, I can tell you like, most of my be most of my good friends from high school, they all got divorced. I'd say just about every one of them got divorced. And one common caliber thing, a one common denominator, especially right before they got divorced, massive, massive peopling. Before they got, they would start peopling so much. How can you work on a marriage if you're not even with all your they, partner? And then one of them, and then one of them, the female, especially, they, they, they would they would people, they would leave their, the marriage and go people without the, even their husband, and that's when you know it's done, right? Mm -hmm. they, they're trying to fill a void, but anyway, guys, you know, I, I don't, I, it's, this is not a topic I want to have an hour discussion. I just wanted to come on because I was thinking, I was like, man, people are peopling too much. Stop peopling. We got enough problems in the world. Look what's going on with Rona, right? Freaking crazy. Right, and I don't want to get into a long. Uh, don't get him started. Don't on Don't get that. me started. No, I don't want to hear. I, I, I don't that'll hear. be a two. I hear it enough already. Two hour conversation. I'll get blocked from deleted on Facebook. <laughs> I already got it, guys. I got a, I got an email today or yesterday. I got a, a, a notification from Facebook that they took down one of my videos because it was a uh, fact checker. It was a fact checker mm -hmm. from Facebook, and uh, he deemed my post as fake news and. Um, yeah, just just so you guys know, be on the lookout for the the, the fact checkers on Facebook because they they know the facts, and um, I'm not I'm not saying to ever post stuff about the fake news, right? Don't ever do that. Keep post. Don't post anymore. <laughs> post all. Make sure you don't post anything that's controversial. Post everything. Hmm. It's no. It's getting out of control, guys. It's getting freaking crazy. So if you believe the fake news, if you really think Rona is going to kill everybody, if you really think this fucking Mexican, Mexican beer came from a fucking bat in a cave in Wahoon. Wuhan. Jesus, Wuhan. Dude, you've been peopling too much. <laughs> you need to wake up. Right? And hey, look, I want to call it while you guys, I'm going to call it. I'm, I'm, I'm just so you know I'm calling it. Okay, we just got through round one of the Mexican beer. I guarantee you, so round one was a test, right? Rona two, they will probably release, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I had to guess, if I was an elite globalist crazy person that wanted to take over the world and trick people and create a bunch of false flags. I, I, so, you know, Trump is releasing the economy, letting everything go back to normal. You can, obviously, he, he's kind of catching on to their scheme. I guarantee you, they're gonna release Rona two. By the, I would say by right before the election, or right before the winter time, and they'll say, "Look, you see what happened." They're gonna blame Trump. They're gonna blame Trump and say, "Hey, look, I it's told all you, his fault." It's all his fault, and that's how they're gonna. They, that's how they're gonna use that to kick mm -hmm. him and say, "See, you should have. You, you killed me." Now they're gonna release a more deadlier virus, uh, and I, I don't. I, I, hope, I, I hope they. I he's hope giving they, me anxiety. I hope they don't. I'm I praying he's don't. wrong. But mark my words, I'm not gonna be shocked if Rona two gets rolled out come October. Call me crazy, call me conspiracy theorist. Hey. I hope you're wrong. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Um, but use this time to focus on what's important. 
Yeah. And what's important is what's under your roof. Yeah, what you can control, mm -hmm. right? What you can control and, and dude, if, this, if, if, you, if you people and with a bunch of people don't add value to your life and you just, they're stroking your ego and you'll make each other feel good, dude, you're wasting a bunch of time, trust me. Been there, done that. So, wake up and smell the coffee and understand that you're, uh, you wasting a whole lot of time in your life when you could be focusing on, you know, your goals, your purpose. And maybe you hate your wife. You probably hate your wife because you, you, you know, you, you cheated on her so many times and you got so many, so many things you, you're hiding from her that you can't look her in the eye, right? That's probably why you probably don't have a good relationship. Trust me, if you have a bad relationship right now with your wife, do this simple thing. Go up to her and tell her everything you, you've ever done bad and it may fucking suck. And I guarantee you, you'll salvage your relationship. If you really love each other, you'll make it up. And if you can't tell her face to face, write her a letter. Open the lines of communication. And, and like, even if you freaking been banging like hookers and stuff, like maybe, I mean, she wrote me a letter. She had been banging hookers for like 10 years. And <laughs> Shut I, up. I forgave her for No, it. but his friend was. <laughs> yeah, my friend was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, no, it, and maybe you got to you just, just write her a letter and say, like, I fucked up. I really, I'm doing this because I really love you and, it's, it, and I need to get a clean conscience. Dude, if you get that clean conscious and you and you just release it, it it'll be magical. Like you can it, open up a new story. It'll, it'll, it'll be like it's like you're dating a, a new girl, and you, you, it's because it's not her; it's you. You'll change because you you basically got came clean, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, hope that helps. Just telling you stuff I've, you know, experienced throughout my lifetime, and uh, I, I'm not some freaking guru. I, I just talk real shop, right? I'm just a normal guy like you guys. Married with kids, trying to live a great life, trying to provide for my family, trying and to. And these are the life. things that we learned that I mean, helped us. That helped us absolutely helped us, right? That I can it say works. without a shadow of a doubt, that helped me get to where I am, get and, and still trying to get to where I want to be, right? So, see you guys on the next live. Peace. Peace.